Good morning. Welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, I'm going to get these anchors hooked up to the frame. I think I have everything I need here. Got my coffee and other stuff. So, let's get started. What I need to do, I got my 22 inch mark marked off on all of my frame members. Now I gotta drill a pilot hole and then a 5 16 through hole through each one of them and put in my eye bolts. So there you have it. Got your eye bolt going through uh, at 22 inches, which 
seems to work out perfect every time. The hook is facing away from the skin here so that this won't, anything that's up near the skin will rub a hole in it. Yeah, I mean, it could happen in a week, so I make sure you do that. This cable right here, I measured nine inches when I first started. So I cut the cable at about 20 inches. Then when I made my first loop down here, I left enough of a tail on it so that when I, I made this loop, connected it, I could put both tails in a third wire clamp. So this is nice and tight. If, if the wind gets in here and lifts this a little bit, like it apparently has, um, if it pulls the anchor up a little bit, then you can tighten it here. And you can also loosen these up and pull these tighter. You have this much of an adjustment down here. So you can keep tightening them until the anchor stabilizes. In this case, I have three inch anchors in here. That was a mistake. This is only temporary. I'm going to be moving this next year, but it still wants three inch or uh, four inch anchors minimum. I would say four inches is fine uh, for any time. But when I put this in permanently, I might put a four inch anchor in all four of these inner uh, posts or hoops, whatever they're called. I might put four of them in on each side. They're expensive. Uh, I was just looking at it and it's nearly 50 bucks for a set of four of them of the four inch iron ones. I would not recommend aluminum at all, ever. They're just gonna snap on you like these snapped on me. I was lucky to get in what I did without them snapping. So I'm gonna put the other two that are like this in. And in my last one, I'm going to have to figure something different out for, so we'll deal with that when we get there. Another thing of note is that you need to get your turnbuckles fully extended before you put them on, before you do any measuring or before you put them on. Otherwise, you're going to run out of thread right away. So I take Take it completely off. See, one of these is right hand, one's left hand thread. This is left hand. Then I put it in just a few turns, and you want to start out like this. That way, you have, I got about at least two, maybe two and a half inches of tightening uh, capability on this. If you were to put them on the way they come, like this, you would be shit out of luck real quick. different distances down here on each one of them so I didn't believe this one's the shortest 
and then they're, they vary on each one. But I have plenty of room for tightening it up, plenty of thread left. And then if that were to run out, I still have a good distance here. On this one here, that's not the case. I'm, well, I have a good distance from here to here, so I could pull this much tighter and I still have quite a bit of uh, thread on the turnbuckle. Still got at least an inch, probably an inch and a quarter. Then we get to the last one there. That's the one that uh, that broke, I don't know, 10 inches into the ground or so. So I put the, uh, the eye in there where it's supposed to go so that it's there when I when I move this up to the platform up there next year. And then I just, I used rope uh, so that it doesn't cut into the, the plastic here or, you know, abrade the, the crossbar. That should work. I think I'm gonna put one more bucket right in the middle on each side and that should do it. I brought this uh, piece of wood over here, so I got a little workbench. Now I just got to clean this place up, and I'm gonna get started working on the benches and get some uh, get some wire threaded up to the middle here for my lights. I'm gonna have lights yay high, and my starter bench will be right here. I've been playing around with the design off and on for a week or two now and it looks like the starter bench will just be pretty much a sheet of plywood like this with two inches of foam on the top of it then uh, heating mats for what did I come up with six or eight I think it's eight trays and then uh, the other half of the plywood will be or the other half of the foam will be up here and the light will be suspended from it so I can hang curtains down on the four sides and the curtains can be uh, rigid foam as well uh, because I'm going to be starting the seeds here in mid-March and it could be below zero at that time so the little heating mats will definitely keep them warm but um, I don't know they might have a hard time keeping up when it's below zero so that should help and my uh, I guess this is got the radiant stuff in there it's for outside for cats uh, she loves it I never seen her on it. I put this in here so she could uh, be up off the ground. She doesn't like to be on the ground, but apparently the bench is the right height for her, so that's pretty cool. Get this thing the hell out of here. So that'll do it for today. Um, next in here, I will be doing something with these doors. That, that's just unacceptable. I can't stay that way. I think I have it figured out with uh, two by fours to trap the two sides and wood inserts for the bottom. And I will have to screw right through on both sides and the wood insert will have to uh, uh, be a weight for the center part. I might put a pipe in the center part. I'm not sure, but the sides have to be wood. And then for the gap at the bottom of the door, I will probably use uh, a tube filled with something relatively heavy, some kind of insulation maybe. I might use scrap insulation from working on the the wall in the shed there. A nice tube and then push it up against it to uh, keep the heat in. Then it should get nice and toasty in here. I mean right where I'm standing with the sun right there it feels really nice and warm in here. 
but with this thing being so leaky the heat just goes away right away so i gotta get on that before we get too much damn snow and then it's impossible so that'll do it for today if you like the videos please subscribe and if you click on the update icon you'll receive notice when we post new videos thanks for watching and have a great day